Now we're coming up to the Great West Road again. The traffic lights are in our favour. We're going to the left, so we'll keep behind this loner. I'm in the correct gear. Check the mirror again. And let the loner settle down before we pull out to overtake. Getting towards London Airport now. The lights are in my favour, so I'm going straight through and then returning to my own near side again to let this police car come past who appears to be in a bit of a hurry. I think he must be going to an emergency. That is where the new motorway joins London Airport. Now we're approaching the new motorway. Now I've got a rapier up ahead. I'm keeping a lot of distance between us because we're travelling at about 55. I shall let him pass that lorry before I attempt to close up to overtake him. Just keep on my lane, check the mirror, nothing behind me that wants to overtake. And now I shall start to close up and first of all signal him with my headlights. And again. He hasn't a clue that I'm here so I shall sound the horn. And again. Yes, he's pulling in and I can go past giving me the V sign. I can't think why he should think that I'm interested in his politics. 70. Now we're coming towards the end of the motorway. Ready. And of course the speed limit here is 30 miles an hour. Now this would be a very dangerous place to overtake. And I shan't attempt to overtake that lorry because he's going to pull out to overtake a car. Always drive decisively. If it's safe, do it. If you have the slightest doubt, hold back. Keeping inside this continuous white line. That's the end of it. Now we've come into Thiel. Watch those vehicles on the left, underneath them and in them, and allow a door's width as you overtake. Can't overtake the bus here. The conductor's coming towards the back for some reason or other. Oh, he's signalling that he's going to the right. And this is confirmed by the trafficator. So start to brake gently, slow down, come well into the near side to let approaching traffic see me. Into first and off we go. Just keep your foot still on the throttle double the clutch and through and you get a raise of you see just about 500 revs and the re speedometer remains fairly constant and your driving is smooth can't do much overtaking here so I shall have to be content to remain behind this chap's going off to the left and there's an approaching driver wanting to go to the right but he's waiting to let me through cyclists are stopping so I shall go through let the pedestrian go across. Be very careful through here. The shops are right on the edge of the footpath. Children can and do run across the road. The clock tower in the centre of the road at Newbury. We've got to go around there and off to the right, so I'm signalling with my trafficator. The shop windows in front act as a perfect mirror to show me traffic coming from the left. And there's a driver slowing down and signalling me to go. So I shall thank him and proceed. Another very narrow street. Watch the cyclist carefully just in case she wobbles. Now on the outskirts of Hungerford. Continuous white line and a double white line here so we'll just keep in. Fairly clear of traffic. Nothing coming out from the left here. There's the old Bear Hotel. Watch this turning carefully on the left. Nothing coming out. We can go through without any trouble at all. It is restricted through here. Now, with all the speed that I've got in hand, there's no need to get close to that bus because I can overtake him just when I want to. Look up the near side, it's cleared, down into third, and go past decisively. 
No, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I. Indecision is a dangerous fault. Acceleration is a safety factor, you know, if you use it wisely. I've got a chap driving right up my exhaust pipe. So I'm going to pull in and let him come past if he wants to, although I hardly think he would here. Oh, yes, he would. Nice type. Now, when you see a chap like that, there's no excuse for becoming involved with him. Let him get away or get in front of him, one or the other. He's got a fine turn of speed there. Ah, on the crown of the road. Very nice view on the right. A typical motoring minzer. Look at him. I'm going to give you a very wide berth. Going left, waving me on, not on your life, chum. I'm going to see what you do first. We're coming into Marlborough. And just ahead, I can expect a lot of parked vehicles on both sides of the road and in the center. And this is where we have to be extremely careful of pedestrians who might dash out. Traffic on the right is waiting for me. And I'm going down the center of the road here, keeping my eye on the mirror, because if somebody does dash out, I want room in which to maneuver. Not getting too close to the van in front. He's going off to the right. Let him go. There's a pedestrian going across there. So just take your foot off the throttle. Don't frighten them with a loud blast of the horn. You might precipitate an accident. Just let her go across the road in her own time. Now we're coming up to a very narrow part of Marlborough. There's a slow sign in the road. And there's a car coming out of that turning on my left. He's waiting for me, so I'm going to accept his courtesy. It's no good playing after you, Claude, on occasions like that. They've made tremendous improvements to this Bristol Road. In fact, it's quite a pleasure to drive on it. You can see the improvements they've made. Ah, it's that man again. So I'm going... Now, I wonder why he overtook just there if he's going into the left. What makes a driver behave like that? I should hate to be his passenger. And I hope that's the last I'm going to see of you, old chap. Ah, uh, here it comes, the rain. Coming through Calm, our braking distances have gone up, of course. The road is very uncertain here. Changing road surfaces, which, we, which have to be watched because it means varying braking distances. Now, here's a very much better service coming up, for example. Watch these pedestrians and take it steady. Slow sign on the road there. Car parked on the bend, changing down into third, pedestrian crossing clear, and gently coming round under very gentle acceleration. Now we are coming into Chippenham, and the traffic is fairly heavy here. Keeping my distance from this traffic up in front, because I don't want to brake hard, I don't want to run into the bloke or have somebody run into the rear of me. Braking very gently, Red and amber, green. Now let them get away. Let's get our safety distance between us. Then in front is going off to the right. So we'll ease off on the throttle and start to brake gently because we can't go through. We have to wait until he has a gap in the traffic. Off we go again. change up through the gears. Now we're running into the outskirts of Bath, what's that van, pedestrians, slow down and let this lorry come through. Unilateral parking here. Take great care through here. And there is Bath Abbey, right in front of us. Couldn't possibly overtake here, because I'm going off round to the left. So we'll just keep our distance and enjoy the view of that lovely building. down into third, what's pedestrian crossing place. And there is the Jaguar coming towards the end of a very pleasant and uneventful journey without incident. <laughs>